Singapore is 3 hours ahead of Chennai and New Jersey is 11 hours behind India. A flight from Chennai started at 6 am and reached Singapore at 12 noon. And a flight with the same speed starts from Chennai at 9 am. If the distance between Chennai and New Jersey is exactly 4 times the distance between Chennai and Singapore, at what time the flight which starts from Chennai at 9 am reaches New Jersey at its local time? Reaches New Jersey at its local time. Consider all the given timings are local timings. Now this point is very important. You have to consider all the given timings to be the local timings. Like for example, when he says, you know, uh, a flight from Chennai started at 6 a.m. This is 6 a.m. Chennai timing or India timing. Reach Singapore at 12 noon is 12 noon local time of Singapore. Similarly, a flight with the same speed start from Chennai at 9 a.m. is what? 9 a.m. of Chennai timing. Indian, Indian time, right? Local time. So basically he says that uh, Singapore is 3 hours ahead of Chennai. And New Jersey is 11 hours behind India. Now you need to understand this very clearly. What do you mean by 3 hours ahead? And what do you mean by 11 hours behind? So if Singapore is 3 hours ahead means what? If it is let's say 6 a.m. in Chennai, it will be 9 a.m. in Singapore at the same time. You are able to follow. 3 hours ahead. So if it is 6 a.m. in India, Singapore it will be 9 a.m. If it is let's say 4 p.m. in India, Singapore it will be 7 p.m. They are 3 hours ahead, right? So 4 p.m. plus 3 hours, 7 p.m. New Jersey is 11 hours behind India. Meaning what? If it is, let's say, 6 a.m. in India, New Jersey is 6 a.m. minus 11 hours. 6 a.m. minus 11 hours will be 7 p.m. You understand? You have to go in the anti-clockwise direction. 6 a.m. minus 11 hours. 6 a.m. minus 12 hours is 6 p.m. Minus 11 hours will be 7 p.m. Are you all able to follow? Are you all able to follow the point ahead and uh, uh, behind? Right? Like, like, for example, I mean, let's take one more example. Let's say it is... Uh, uh, it is 10 a.m. in India. So what will be the time in New Jersey? New Jersey is 11 hours behind, right? So 10 a.m. minus 11 hours. See, 10 a.m. minus 12 hours is 10 p.m. Minus 11 hours will be how much? Okay, if you, you, you have to be careful again. Understand we are going in the reverse direction, right? So 10 a.m. minus 11. I mean 10 a.m. in India minus 11 hours to get the New Jersey local time, right? So 10 a.m. minus 11 hours. How much will that be? 10 a.m. minus 10 hours will be... Uh, 8 p.m. minus 11 hours will be 9 p.m. You're getting it? 9 p.m. Are you able to follow this forward and backward, ahead and behind? Okay. So, if you are clear with that point, how to, I mean, 3 hours ahead is very simple. The problem will be when you take 11 hours behind, right? One that one is that it is behind. Second, because it is 11 hours, there's a little confusion. Will it be, uh, you know, uh, will it be 9 a.m. or 11 a.m.? That kind of confusion. Right? Like, for example, let's say, Chennai, I'm, I'm giving you some examples, Singapore and New Jersey, right? Let's say it's 6 a.m. in Chennai. What will be the time in uh, Singapore? Singapore is 3 hours ahead, right? So 9 a.m. If it is, let's say, 4 p.m. in Chennai, what will be the time in Singapore? 7 p.m. Instead of plus 3 and plus 3. New Jersey is 11 hours behind. So what are we doing here? Actually, we are doing plus 3 here. Here we have to do minus 11, right? So if it is 6 a.m. in Chennai, what will be the time in New Jersey? From 6 a.m., subtract 11 hours. Are you able to follow? From 6 a.m., subtract 11 hours. So 6, 6 minus 11 is how much? Minus 5. 24 minus, see, convert this to 24 hour clocks. It will be easy. 24 minus 5 is how much? 24 minus 5 is 9, 19. 19 is what time? 7 p.m. So it will be 7 p.m. You are able to follow. If you are unable to do this minus 11 uh, easily, convert this to 24 hours. Like for example, 4 p.m. Right? 4 p.m. here. 4 p.m. is how many hours? I mean, in terms of 24 hour clock, or 24 hours clock, 4 p.m. is equivalent to 1600 hours. 16 minus 11 is 5. Right? So 4 p.m. will become 5 a.m. Are you able to follow? Are you able to follow? Let's let's take one more example. Let's say the time in Chennai uh, or in India, right? Chennai or India is, uh, uh, for example, um, what do we do? Let's say 5.15 p.m. 5.15 p.m. What will be the time in Singapore? Easy, plus 3. Addition is easy and smaller value of addition much easier, right? So 5.15 plus 3 is how much? 8.15 p.m. No confusion with this, right? Let us not get confused here also. What happens? Minus 11. Now, what is the easier way of doing it? See, 515, convert this to convert this to a 24-hour clock. 
because you're subtracting, right? It should be, it should not, you should not get confused. So 515 PM is equal to uh, 1715 hours in 24 hour format, right? Now from the 1715 hours, what do you have to subtract? Minus 11 hours. 11 hours is 1100 hours. Minus 1100 hours. How much is this? 1715 minus 1100. How much is that? 615 hours. 615 hours in what? Again, 24 hour clock. How much is 615? 615 is 615 a.m. So this will be 615 a.m. Are you able to follow? Are you able to follow this? Right? So just convert to 24 o'clock if there is any confusion here. So this is how you will find out the local time for a given time in one other place. Right? Now look at the question. A flight from Chennai started at 6 a.m. and reached Singapore at 12 noon. And a flight from same speed with the same speed starts from Chennai at 9 a.m. So one flight took off at 6 a.m. The other flight is going to take off at 9 a.m. The flight which took off at 6 a.m. reached Singapore at 12 noon. We have to find out that the flight which takes off at 9 a.m. will reach New Jersey at what time? That's what he says, right? So at what time the flight which starts from Chennai at 9 a.m. will reach New Jersey? New Jersey at its local time, at New Jersey's local time. So how do we solve this? See, understand. First of all, this 12 noon is Singapore's local time. 12 noon is Singapore's local time. If it is 12 noon in Singapore, what time is it in Chennai? Minus 3. See, from Singapore to Chennai, you have to subtract. From Chennai to Singapore, we are adding. From Singapore to Chennai, you have to subtract. So if it is 12 noon in Singapore, what time will it be in Chennai? It will be 9 a.m. in Chennai, minus 3 hours. 12 noon minus 3 hours is 9 a.m. Which means it will be 9 a.m. Let's say Indian local time. Are you getting it? Indian local time or Chennai's local time. So the point is this flight which took off at 6 a.m. reached Singapore at what time? What time? 9 a.m. Our local time, which is 12 noon in Singapore. So basically this is a 3 hour flight. Yes or no? Chennai to Singapore is 3 hours. So understand, Chennai to Singapore, it takes how much time? It takes 3 hours. Right? Now, another flight started with the same speed from Chennai at what time? 9 a.m. The next point he says is, the distance from Chennai to New Jersey is 4 times the distance from Chennai to Singapore. So if the distance is 4 times, the time taken will also be 4 times. See, if the distance increases, the time taken increases. So the distance from Chennai to New Jersey is 4 times. So time taken to fly from Chennai to New Jersey will also be 4 times. So if Chennai to Singapore takes 3 hours, Chennai to New Jersey will take 3 into 4, 12 hours. Yes or no? If Chennai to Singapore you can cover in 3 hours, Chennai to New Jersey can be covered in how many hours? 3 into 4, 12 hours. Why are we taking 4 times? Because the distance is 4 times. If the distance is 4 times, time taken is also 4 times. Now understand, this flight will be for 12 hours. This flight, I mean we have to fly for 12 hours. At what time did we start from Chennai? We started from Chennai at 9 a.m. If you start from Chennai at 9 a.m., at what time will you reach uh, New Jersey? 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Indian time. Understand, if you have started from Chennai at 9 a.m., you know that the flight will be for 12 hours. So after 12 hours, you will reach New Jersey, which means you will reach New Jersey at what time? 9 p.m. Indian time. Yes or no? You will reach New Jersey 9 p.m. Indian time. Right? So the answer to this question is, see, what is he asking us to find out? At what time will you reach New Jersey's local time? So understand, you will reach New Jersey 9 p.m. Chennai time. So what is the time in New Jersey is the question. Because he's asking us to find out the local time, New Jersey's local time. I hope this is clear. We we started flying at 9 a.m. We know that it will take 12 hours for covering this journey, to cover this journey. So if we start at 9 a.m., we'll reach at 9 p.m. But 9 p.m. our local time. He's asking us to find, find out 9 p.m. of Chennai, uh, New Jersey's local time. How do you get to New Jersey? Minus 11 hours. From 9 p.m. subtract 11 hours. 9 p.m. is nothing but, uh, uh, you know, 2100 hours, right? 2100 minus 1100 is 1000. 1000 hours is 10 a.m. So your answer here will be 10 a.m. I hope all of you have followed this. I mean, I've given too much of explanation, but I thought it is needed for those who are getting confused, right? 10 a.m. is the answer, which is option 4.